everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. That's Deb Chanel's 48th World. That's where you are. Please subscribe, share, and like my videos, okay? Now we're going to go into the, today's drama. NeNe Leaks and the airport and the fan or follower who wanted to get a little snapshot with Miss NeNe Leaks, okay? Don't understand what all the commotion was about because I'm like... When you hit celebrity status, whether it's Ratchet TV, whether you're a movie star and you're in the big box office hitting your million dollar payouts and stuff of that nature, you signed up for it. I don't care what nobody say about, oh, my personal space, you can't invade, invade it when I'm out, da -da -dee, da -da -da, then pretty much don't come out or go incognito because the bigger ones like Prince, Michael Jackson, and a, a host of a, 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 a plethora of more people out there that are famous, really famous, that are actually notary type famous. They, you know, they just way up there in the big millennium type of global worldwide famous. And half the time, they're in the music industry where they sing or, like I say, they act like Tom Cruise, you know. Um, who else we got? Elvis Presley. Well, he did. We gonna use him. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Holly Berry. Uh, hell, Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Nene is nowhere on that stature or legendary icon stature. That she should not be taking photos with people. I mean, come on. If you're going through the airport and your agent calling you, I'm sure you already talked to your agent, okay, prior to getting to the airport. Probably on the way to the airport. But it's just like you should already be geared up, putting your best foot forward, and saying somebody going to come and want an autograph. Somebody going to want to come to take a picture. Choose which one you're going to do. You know, if you don't want to be on uh, social media, taking a little snapshot, uh, bringing some kind of follower or fanatic fan, you know, wishes, making their wishes come true because they like starstruck and they wouldn't even think that they would possibly see some type of reality star or star going through the uh, checkout lines or going through the airport comings and goings. You know what I'm saying? And so you expect that. I said, you could be like one of these everyday people, such as myself, go to the airport, you know, got my luggage or whatever, trying to get to, what, Mississippi, Tokyo, or wherever. And nobody's asking for me. Nobody's asking to take a, a, a snapshot with me or sign an autograph. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be back in that little bowl, everyday life, everyday running the meal person? No, I'm sure you don't want to. However... Nay, nay, you signed up for it. My thing is, if my agent is on the phone and they're just trying to check why I am this, that, and third, I'm going to like, hey, could you please give me at least 20 minutes before you call me? Because we all know somebody going to recognize me and they're going to want a snapshot, photograph, or, or autograph signing type of thing. And, you know, I'm just going to have to do it because it's a good look. You know, why not take that stance? This is what you signed up for. Anytime you want to be in the who's who, the no's and, and, and you know, comings and goings of recognizing uh, familiar faces and you want to be on that type of uh, platform, then this is what you signed up for. You're supposed to sit there, sign them autographs, sign, take them pictures. You know, I say choose, pick your poison, either one, you know. But these are your people that follow you. These are the ones to sit and watch your TV show that you're on. You know, so I'm like, pay homage to the people that support you. It, it don't take a few minutes to say, I see if you had a massive headache or whatever, then you need security around you or something like that. Because you've had it before. Just have them block people away from you. You know, let them know that you're just not feeling good. You know, put a mask on your face, put a, put a big hat on your face. Go incognito. Oh, my dad used to do it all the time, even with his kids. When he really just didn't want to be bothered and he wanted to just be normal again. But that's not what you signed up for, Nene. You signed to be in the spotlight. The spotlight is always there, even if you're going to the grocery store. Somebody going to recognize you and they're going to say, well, doggone, I saw a celebrity. My friends, my family are not going to, you know, believe me. So I got to get either an autograph or I got to get a photograph, you know. And that's pretty much all you 
had to do. You didn't have to be rude with the lady, or maybe she was rude to you by you saying you're on the telephone. Stop being on the telephone. Go in the airport, take care of your business. Not see the lady trying to, you know, uh, get get your attention, and you were trying to pay for your airline ticket, or you were having a conversation with somebody else, and they just came up to you and whatever. But you know, pick and choose your battles. Pick and choose your battles. These people are like supporting you. If you didn't have the support of them, you would not be where you are. Bravo would not even be checking for you. I mean, you go on this show, and I, I want to say all of them got sense. I'm just going to get them 100%. They have common sense, and they have book sense. They just refuse to use it, and that's why they on this reality show, because reality shows do not paint a very good picture. Okay, you know when you're signing your contract, they, they want drama. They tell you so many words that I need drama. I need you to be acting totally mindless, say stupid stuff, anything that's going to gear up people to watch the show. Ain't nobody on that show uh, acting like they got sense. Okay, not even common sense. But this is what they want. This is what they signed up for, so they have to play the role. But when you're out... Don't act like we're expecting to see Nene with this terrible attitude. She always got her nose up in the air. She always looking down on people like she's so far up in the clouds. I mean, that's what people expect from the show. But when they actually see you in real person, you know, give them something warm and, and uh, exciting to see. Someone that's very inviting, you know, because they've wasted their time and their energy. And they can't get back their time, you know, by watching the show. So I would like for you to just pay homage to your fans because without them, you wouldn't be where you are. Trust and believe that. And I say, I don't care how many people disagree, disagree with me about it. That is y'all bread and butter. Bravo. Okay. The housewives. It's a staple name. Everybody knows the cast. Every whoever watched the show or who, who really haven't been paying attention to all the seasons and the episodes but they may catch a few here and there. They know whoever is on the show and that personality that they're playing. I mean, don't leave your good hospitality at home when, when you're traveling. If they ain't like big name celebrities that you recognize and you like or whatnot, or you are uh, starstruck by, you know, just don't do, just don't get them respect. Get the folks that's you know were there with you when you started first on Housewives that's been supporting you and being you know a local, uh, home based person to say, hey, I like Nene, I I I support her either way. But then when they meet you, and it's not fitting for you that day to be uh representing in a good light and a positive light. You want to dog them? No, because word of mouth is dangerous. Depending on how you go about um, pretty much displaying yourself in public. Oh, people don't want to hear. I'm sorry. They do not want to hear nothing negative when they meet a star. They want to feel like they have been treated with the utmost respect. Uh, they were. Uh, you took time out of your day to wish them, you know, uh, what do you call it? Good luck on their endeavors. Thanks for watching the show. That's what you do. You still promote yourself. Self-promotion is the best promotion, okay? And it gives another light to people wanting to tune in to the show and go to bats for you when they're trying to say whether they're going to get rid of you or not. That's just the role to play. But anyway, it was several uh, bloggers out there, Hollywood Life, Glass, uh, and some more had got the story on Nene and what she had did to this particular fan when she was trying to get an autograph or just for Nene to acknowledge her. And let me just read what it pretty much says. It's coming from uh, BlastingNews.com. And then I'll give you my rest of my commentary of what I felt about it. Uh, the caption reads, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene leaks in airport altercation at the fan doesn't like rude attitude. Oh, it says Nene leaks finds herself in a seemingly uncomfortable situation after allegedly being rude to a fan. Okay, Nene leaks is notorious for setting other people's emotions on fire. However, this fan isn't getting the clout she possibly intended with her video confrontation of the Real Housewives of Atlanta star. 
reportedly, according to I Love Old Music. The woman in the video is Instagram user Tiana Barr. Apparently, Barr had to read leaks after her friend was allegedly disrespected. According to ILOSM, Nene Leakes' airport altercation started once Barr approached the Real Housewives of Atlanta star regarding friend Shaniqua Tinsdale. The woman claims that Tinsdale attempted to speak to Nene Leakes but was shrugged off in a disrespectful manner. Tiana says the reality star gave her friend a yuck face like, girl, don't touch me. That's when the woman continued her rant concerning her distaste for Leakes. She says the Real Housewives actress is supposed to be a role model and idol. However, in her eyes, she's acting like nothing of a sort. Barr also mentions that she had to tell her about herself. And at that point, they both allegedly began talking reckless towards each other. Tina notes that was a point when any leaks even threatened to fight her at the end of the situation. The Instagram user states that the Real Housewives of Atlanta star called security on her. According to her, she found out firsthand that the actress is just as cold stars say and you know the word on the street and when we watch it they all are uh, just at like nene that her co-hosts her uh colleagues that she worked with filmed with on real house of wives of atlanta uh on this last reunion and many reunions in the past it's no secret everybody think nene crazy pretty much and that she's self-serving and you know she's wanting to be the center of attention this that and the third Okay, then it also goes in to say in the above Instagram video comment section, several people have shared their thoughts about Tiana Barr as well as her friend. Specifically, many feel that her friend should, shouldn't should never try touching Nene Leakes without her permission, no matter how excited she was to see her. That's somebody's opinion, okay? Then another one, uh, another fact that fans point out is that Leakes looks to be twice the woman's age, hinting a certain level of respect should come first and foremost when approaching her. Likewise, even Real Housewives of Atlanta official IG page chimed in on the matter with a few words of their own. In accordance with everyone else, the show feels like Barr simply clout, clout chasing for social media, showing out for the cam. The page mentions Real Housewives of Atlanta's IG page says that Lee clearly stated that she was on the phone at the time. And along with many other celebrity comments, it seems that Tiana Barr's at airport attempt was foiled. People should keep in mind that celebrity, uh, celebrities are regular people like everyone else. The same way you wouldn't walk up to a stranger expecting to hug up, this is the same way celebrities should be treated. Just because a person is famous doesn't mean she lacks or he lacks boundaries and welcomes everyone inside his or her space, personal space. So it's very possible that Nene appropriately reacted to the woman who knows how she was approached off camera right and it just goes on to say your thoughts well my thing to this whole thing is like i had said before i read this commentary from blasting news you you live in a fishbowl when you become a celebrity whether it's a reality star or you do your homework you go to school you study the art and you become a big movie star or and you're in the music industry you studied your craft you basically you know went to school and studied music you know those are certain levels you um acquire to and you take the time and you definitely spent the money and education and learning how to um you know, be a big time star. And sometimes nowadays, and it's probably the same thing in Hollywood, it's whatever you do, it ain't got nothing to do with how much acting you've done, this, that, and third. It's what you're going to do to stay in the music industry. And just like we already know, a lot of unpleasant things happen. And, you know, these high paid well stars have to go through so much uh, being in that type of um, platform. Or on that type of platform to where it's like, forget it. I'd just rather be a normal person. And some of the actors, especially the child stars uh, in the past, especially when I grew up with some some of them, they are like washed out or they just got out of the business because they didn't like where it was going and they didn't want their lives to go down that path. So they start doing normal everyday jobs, you know, like Vanilla Ice, you know, he's in construction or he's uh, flipping houses now. 
Uh, you know, he had this one hit wonder wonder song, Ice Ice Baby. I know everybody remember him from the eighties. And then, you know, you got some child movie stars that definitely have moved on to other um uh, avenues of living. Um and in a sense getting shamed for mediocre type jobs uh that they're now holding down to feed themselves and their family. You know, they're getting like backwashed from it. Like, dang, he was, you know, playing like that guy who played on the Huxtable show or uh, I think it was called a, the Huxtable show, Mick the Cosby show. And the one who was married to their oldest daughter, uh, Sandra. But I don't forget, what's his name, Elmo? I don't forget what the man name was. He worked at some uh, grocery store in California. And somebody noticed him and they thought, well, now, you know, you made all this money. You went to school and studied acting and you're here. So it's kind of like a, a shaming type moment. Some actors go through after their career has tanked in Hollywood. Or they don't want to do certain things. They've been stereotyped or cast to where, you know, they can't do this anymore because too many people feel like they know them too much from this. Uh show or whatnot like Steve Urkel he couldn't even get good parts um, in the industry anymore so he went back to school back to college got his degree and I guess he's doing real well because I ain't really kept up with him or whatnot but it's just they have to go through a lot and they have to transition uh, their lives a lot when they no longer fit in Hollywood and or the music industry and they take their lives back and become normal uh, everyday people you know, working decent jobs or, you know, or they're doing entrepreneurship where they own their own business and they're doing stuff and don't really want to be known for what they did in the past. You know, this is how some people are. But my thing with Nene and, and you know, definitely with this Tiana Barr, they had to try to get Nene in check. And she say, you know, Nene is not a role model. OK, no celebrity, no big icon are role models. You shouldn't even be looking at them as role models. They have their own lives to live and they have their own challenges that they go through as normal day, everyday people. And they have their stress levels, you know, to where they're not picture perfect all the time. OK, and we know we don't see Nene in several tapings. I don't know if she's acting or, you know, with the crisis she was going, her storyline was totally about Greg and him driving her crazy and, you know, everybody. she wanted everybody to feel sorry for her. And he was the one going through the cancer scare and taking all the treatments and stuff. But she just made like nobody was there for her and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, that storyline, all right, let's not get it for season 12 because I, I don't want to hear nothing about it, okay? But let's uh, some best, some else be your storyline because people going through it every day, caring for fam family members that are bedridden or going through cancer or some other type of illness or disease that they're being plagued with, with their loved one. And it is very daunting. It is very tiring. And it is probably one or two people, or maybe just one person in that fight along with that loved one, you now being seen as the total caregiver. So it is draining. But my thing about it, you signed up for it, baby. You signed up for it when you say, I do. So that means all that responsibility goes on to you. And if the things were reversed and Greg had to do for you, then hopefully he would have been there for you like you were, you know, for him. But it just is what it is. So I look more so on Nene to be the bigger person because she knows basically what she signed up for. And, you know, every time you leave that house or whatever, you go up in the public eye, people expect a certain expectations of you, whether they fall short of it yes every day because you know people should put uh celebrities or um people with notoriety up on a pedestal because they're human that's why i said nobody should be telling their kids to look up to this person or that person no look up to your mama and your dad look up to the lord you know those type of entities and if you don't have your mother or daddy doing right or whatever i'm sure it's somebody in your family that is you know or be right for yourself. You know, read the dictionary. It tells you what self-esteem is all about, what motivation is all about. Be your own person. Be the person that you want to see in other people. Be that person. You know, it doesn't take rocket scientists to understand that type of thinking. It's very positive. It's very motivating. That's what you should uh, strive to be in everyday life, in every facet of your life, when you're meeting people. 
when you're talking to people, when you're at your job, place of employment, treat people how you want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, I thought Tiana was wrong because Nini plays a ratchet person on TV. So what would you expect for her? <laughs> you know, in public, you know, it's just like, let's think about this character that I'm actually running to try to get an autograph with or a picture taken with. OK, do I really want to tackle her today? Because Nini has definitely been <laughs> in the news about being rude to other people. Um, dang, I can't think of the other incident she got into. Try to the other incident Nini had got into. Oh, whatever. And anyway, she won't help me out. But it was something else Nini had got into with another fan or uh, uh, a follower. Uh, of hers, and she just didn't act right then. Oh, yeah, Brett was in the hospital, sick, and they saw her in the hospital, and somebody wanted to, you know, wish her well or, or wanted to, you know, get a photo or, you know, that was not appropriate because any time a person in the hospital, you may see them crying or whatever. I mean, you can offer them a tissue paper if they don't have one, and they smile it's coming out, they know then, okay, but if you see they're in that type of um, type of uh, distraughtness, Lead them along. Best thing you did was offer them a, a handkerchief, a napkin, so they can blow their nose, dry their eyes, and move it on. That's just, you know, you could tell your folks, I saw Nene leaks, you know, and this, that, and the third. But you, when you're in something like a hospital building, no. I wouldn't even try to uh, attempt to have a conversation, like get a picture or whatnot. No, no, no. That's not that's not a good look. But Nene got into that little altercation. Fan wanted to get a picture or an autograph or something, you know. And Nene went off on it then. So, and then, you know, Nene had this Uber thing where somebody was, um, what do you call it? Basically talking to her or get, you know, she said something about an Uber driver and, you know, some very harsh words that she shouldn't have said. And then, you know, it just went viral and everybody was on Nene, but then she's going to come on Instagram or Facebook page and try to be apologetic or she's under stress and did that and third. I'm like, girl, give it a rest. No, when you hit that door, when you coming outside, even if you go into your mailbox and you see somebody walking and they may know you, but then, you know, your neighborhood is probably gated and everybody know anybody that's in that uh, subdivision, they somebody. Or if not, they're doctors, lawyers, or whatever, making them somebody steal, okay? But that's just what it is with some celebrities. They just don't know how to act, you know? And, you know, everyday normal people got to understand that, too. When you go out, these people may be approachable, and then they may not be approachable. It's just a chance that you take. And if you go and you have a good, receptive uh, superstar out there, ready to give you a hug, ready to take a, a picture or whatnot, Give you an autograph, that's good. But just being mindful that, you know, you may get one like Nene or some others uh, out there that don't want to take the time to do anything. They're looking at you like they detest you. <laughs> if you even try to come up to them about anything. And uh, you just have to be conscious of it and just say, okay, maybe they're having a bad day. They're human. You know what I'm saying? But I think it works, works both ways. But I put more of the responsibility on the celebrity or the uh, superstar. They know what they signed up for and they know it's a job 24-7, especially when you step out into the public arena where you may meet anybody. Because you got to understand that person that you rejected may come back in your life and maybe help you later on down the road. Who knows? You might be in cardiac arrest or you may be choking on something. It may be a simple, ordinary person that works in the medical field or took training that's going to give you, you know, a Heimlich maneuver. You know what I'm saying? That same person you were ruled with. And then they have the choice of whether I will administer help or not. You know, you don't want to be on that that end of the stick because they're going to be like, oh, I, I, I might just let you, you know, pass on out this work or you were rude to me. Or they might let you get almost to your last breath and then revive you. You know, it's just a, a, a chance, a toss of the coin. So I'd rather be good to everybody, even if I don't know them. You know, they children of Christ. Got to love them anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to be very mindful. That's all the thing I'm saying on both sides. But like I said, when it comes to the superstars and the celebrities, they have to uh, have the brunt, bear the brunt of everything because they are in the spotlight. And social media is such a devil. 
anyway because it could be somebody they have a lot of uh followers and you know millions of subscribers and they send one thing out on your name and have proof or what they talking about and everybody got like negative vibes on you and it, in a sense it really makes and breaks your career because i don't care what they say uh good news is good bad news is good too now because some bad news can wreck your career and send you back into normal status <laughs> even though you got this hollywood type of living when that's snatched from you you got to come all the way back down. So the people that you meet on the way up, make sure you're nice to them all the time when you greet them. Because on your way back down, they may be remembering things. Okay? So that's all I got on Nene Leaks. Um, maybe she'll see a different light when she comes back out in the public eye. And again, maybe she won't. But let it be known, karma is something that comes around and bites you in the butt when you least expect it. So she's doing these things out there that's not really appropriate and she shouldn't be doing. It. Don't worry. She will catch our karma. Okay. But then if we're unfairly doing Nene that way and she really was on an important phone call, then we got to check our sales. Okay. But like I said, I don't care if, unless it was somebody basically in trouble, but you better call 911 and I'll just meet you there. But agents and all this other kind of stuff, you just wait. They can wait. They can wait. If you all that, if you shit, you the, you the, you know, you the main person. They need you and all this stuff. But then let them wait. Go on it and meet your fans. Continue that good relationship. And then when you get on that plane before it take off, I guess call your uh your uh manager or whatever and see what he got going on. Cause he should have told you all that before you came into the airport. Anyway. But that's all I had, guys. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening, and I'll be back with something. Okay, bye-bye.